everyone. Welcome back to Casa Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to show you some ready mapped out wild camping spots, as I know lots of us are so keen to get out there again as soon as we possibly can. Now, of course, wild camping is not officially permitted in most of the UK, unless you have permission, apart from Scotland with a few restrictions and in Dartmoor. So I'm going to show you some ideas in those areas. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you one way in which you can find some wild camping spots in other areas. We're going to be using the app Kamut again, so let's get going. Now I want to share this hiking collection with you from Kamut, and it's a few suggested wild camping trips in Dartmoor. So let's see what it says about it. So the collection includes three wild camping expeditions, one three-day hike with two nights camping, and two two-day hikes with one night camping. These are all in areas where you are permitted to camp. There is a map of Dartmoor available where you can see exactly where you are permitted to camp and also the military firing zones, but it seems to have been taken down at the moment from the website. I think that's to do with COVID and lockdown and it'll probably come back on as soon as we're able to go out and do it again. So what's good about this, it tells you about traveling and that you can't park along the roadsides and gives you an option, maybe get a hostel um, at the beginning or end of your trip. And then it tells you about public transport and how you can access the park. So here's the interactive map, which I will put a link in the description below, but it doesn't seem to be available at the moment. And then you have bus timetables and different things. So the map here, this is this this is the general area of the all the hiking routes that Kamut have in their collection for wild camping. Now, this is the first one, so it's called the Hound of the Baskervilles, and this is a three-day hike with two nights of wild camping. So there we are, and it tells you the distance. Now, if we click on it, we'll get some more details. So we've done this before in the last two videos where we've gone through how Kamut present the details to you. So you have all the pictures and all the highlights you're going to see on the way. And at the end, there's the weather forecast. So if we get down there, so here's your route, which you can edit. And, and then, of course, we have all the different surfaces and it shows you and it will tell you the difficulty of the hike. And then on the day you're planning to do it, if you put the forecast in here, it will tell you your expected weather. Now, these are considered quite challenging hikes, not particularly because of the level of difficulty, but because of the navigational skills required. So do make sure you read carefully and you know what you're letting yourself in for. So the first trip is called the Hound of the Baskervilles. So we've got day one. And this stage two ends with a day wild camp. It tells you all about it and tells you where you can, would be a good idea to wild camp. And we've got stage three. And the next trip here is called Fernworthy and East Dart Loop. So this is a two day with a one night wild camping. So again, go through the information. This gives you um, an outline of your route for the day. Obviously, you're going to need, definitely need your map and compass for these. And then we've got military firing times. I'll put the link to this in the description below as well. And then there's day two. And finally, if we take a look at the, the third suggested wild camping trip from Kamut, it's the Barman's Nose Circuit. Let's have a look at the stage one. Again, we've got so here you can you can edit, export to your phone or your device. It tells you about parking. Show, these are all hiking highlights. And there's an audio tour. So there's just lots of tips from users about this route. So I was thinking that when we, we do get out of lockdown and we are able to do these again, I know lots of people interested in wild camping and to have something set up for you like this I think is a great way to to get out there again but do bear in mind that you must always check the difficulty level of the route and also how much navigational skills are required. 
So obviously another area of the UK where you're free to wild camp, apart from a few restrictions around Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park, is Scotland. So let's go and have a look there. So I'm already in the route planner here around Loch Lomond. If you want to know details of how to get into here, then um, if you look at last week or the week before's video, I've gone all through the route planner then. And I just want to show you that, um, yes, there are restrictions around Loch Lomond and you can find those online, but some of the users, commute users, have put highlights in, which we've been through again before. And there's one here while camping on the shores of Loch Lomond. So if we click on that, obviously it gives it all. Oh, well, how beautiful is that? And it's a hiking highlight. Now, if you scroll down, you'll get all the information on it. And it says it's just outside the camping management zone. So you are fine to wild camp here. Beautiful flat spots to pitch your tent. You can have a fire here and there should be plenty of driftwood and deadwood to use. If you are looking for wild camping spots in any area, it's always worth looking at the highlights. So the first thing to do when it comes to wild camping in Scotland, because it is legal for most of the country, is just to Google wild camping Scotland. There we go. And you'll have, that's a highlight, wild camping by the river. So if we open up that one, I'm not going to do it to all of them. If we open up this one, you've got some photographs and there will be some tips. OK, level and elevated camping space, fresh water from the river. And if you scroll down, it just gives you all the different tips by the users. So that's one of them. It's quite easy to find information. And you've got another one here. Shores of Loch Lomond, which I think is the one we just saw. Anyway, you can find camping spaces in Scotland like that. Also, obviously, wild camping, as we've said, is not strictly permitted in most of the UK, but sometimes it's tolerated. So if we put Commute Wild Camping Lake District. So it's always worth having a Google and put Commute Wild Camping and then the area you're looking at. There may not be anything there, because, but you may find some highlights, uh, some collections. Now, I came across this collection here, An English Hiking Dream. And when I looked into it, the lady had done some wild camping. So she's just telling you a few, few suitable spots that you might want to go to. So let's have a look at this one. So she's given you some info on best time to visit and accommodation. And she said she slept in her tent and in hostels or guest houses. So food, route and difficulties and wild camping. Again, going on to say it's officially, it is tolerated in the Lake District and how to go about it and some equipment. Now, on the map, this is the route that she followed. And then we have the details of each day. Now, day one, she stayed in the Elter Water Hotel. But on day two, Sethwaite Tarn, where she pitched her tent. So, you know, it's always worth having a look through the commute collections and you can find it takes a bit of research, and a bit of time, but you can make yourself a list of all the wild camping spots that the users have found. So there we go, a few suggestions for wild camping tours in Dartmoor, then a mention of Scotland, although of course it's a lot easier to find places there because it's permitted. And then if you do want to find wild camping spots in other areas, just take a look at commute collections and highlights and see what you can find there. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.